Hi, I'm Bob from plasticpipeshop.co.uk and we're going to have a look today at two different types of tank connector. Now, tank connectors or bulkheads as they're sometimes called are used for going through the sides of tanks to give us a pipe outlet through the tank. It can be below the water level because the tank connector will seal itself onto the skin of the tank. So, we've got two different types. My personal favourite is this type. This is a metric tank connector. Unfortunately, these are only moulded in metric. You won't find these type in Imperial. So, let's come forward a minute. This one here, we've got four parts to each tank connector. We have our, our back nut, which goes on the back of our tank. We have two gaskets or flanges one of which goes on the back of the tank, one of which goes on the front of the tank, and we have our front nut here, which sits hard against the front of the tank. The reason I like these ones so much is because this nut here is part of the moulded tank connector. It's fixed. I'll just take these off so you can see it a bit better. Hopefully it'll focus in on it a bit. So it's a fixed, it's a fixed nut. That's not gonna move anywhere on there. There we go there, that's a bit better. It's not gonna move anywhere. The advantage of that is that the thread doesn't go through the nut on the dry side of the tank. I'll show you an Imperial tank connector. So an Imperial tank connector here, we've also got, also got the same parts. We've got our back nuts, we've got our gaskets, but our nut at the front also moves on the thread. So the problem with that is, is once we've put our tank connector in and we've got our gasket which is sitting up against it, here. There's still a danger of the water following the thread and actually coming out, not through here on the tank connector, there we go, not through here on the tank connector, but actually following and coming out the thread. The only way to resolve that is to put a good lump of silicon around it um, to try and seal it. But the metric tank connectors we don't have to do that at all because the gasket seals right up against here. There's no thread coming through here at all, so there's no way the water can eke its way through the thread and, uh, and come out again. Another nice thing about the metric tank connectors is that because they're molded, they have a pipe size as a socket there and a pipe size as a spigot here. So this one, for example, is a 63mm to 75mm, so a 63mm pipe will fit in a socket inside and a 75 millimeter socket will go over the outside. Conversely, imperial tank connectors are actually made out of heavy walled imperial pipe. So it's a piece of threaded heavy walled imperial pipe. So we've only got a spigot to work with, not a socket as well. So there we have it. Two different types of tank connectors, our metric and our imperial. You will get these in uh, metric as well, but as these are so good and such fantastic tank connectors, uh, we prefer to supply these. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.